bright beauty. Every student matters. Now let us see another question. It says draw AB of length 7.3 centimeters and find its axis of symmetry. I hope you remember your lesson of symmetry. What is symmetry? Symmetry is when you see the two objects exactly um, similar to each other, right? So if you see my hands, they are in symmetry. Is that right? So these two hands that you can see, they are in symmetry. And where is the line of symmetry? Exactly here, between the two thumb, where me, my thumbs are meeting each other. Here, if you draw a straight line, this is the line of symmetry for my hands. Because if I join them, you will see they are overlapping each other. Is that right? So if I open, you will see this as the symmetrical uh, figure of my hands. Right? So what do we see? We see that the equal size is on both the sides. Right? So now we are going to draw AB of length 7.3 and we need to find its axis of symmetry. So axis of symmetry means you need to draw a line that is standing exactly at the center point. Is that right? So what are we going to draw? We are going to draw, I'll just draw it here in the rough. You need to have this line AB of 7.3 and because you are going to draw its line of symmetry, so it should be exactly here at the center. Okay? And it must meet at the 90 degrees angle because you always draw a straight line at the point of symmetry, right? So wherever you have this symmetry, you draw a straight perpendicular line. So what we need to do here is basically we are just going to draw a perpendicular bisector to the given line AB. So quickly take out the ruler and the pencil and make sure that you draw a straight line with a sharp pencil. Mark the endpoints as AB because here it says draw AB of length 7.3 centimeters. So go ahead quickly get this particular part done. I hope you have drawn the line, right? So the line segment that we have here is line segment AB which measures 7.3 centimeters. Okay, we have used the ruler in order to draw this line. Now you need compasses to go further to draw the perpendicular bisector to this line. So what you will do, you will first need to open the compasses of suitable length that is greater than half of AB. Is that right? So here, if this is the center point of AB, you need to open the compasses, keeping the pointer at A, open it from anywhere, from this point to this point. Keep your pencil anywhere here, but make sure just end up before you are reaching the point B. Okay? So when you are done here, what you need? You need to draw circles earlier, if you remember. Now don't draw the circle complete. Just draw keeping this pointer, keeping the point at A, okay, of your compasses. You need to mark an arc anywhere over here, okay. Make a suitably big arc. Don't draw a very small one. Make a suitably big arc. Similarly, you draw another arc over here, okay. Now don't disturb your uh, compasses, the opening of your compass. And keep the pointer at here, point B, and draw two arcs. Make sure that they are intersecting your previously drawn arcs. Okay? So, this is how you will observe two arcs intersecting each other. Now, join the two arcs, and what you will observe is that these two arcs, let's say they are meeting at point. Make sure that they are meeting at point C and let's name this as point D. So this is where they are meeting each other. So what you notice is that this particular line is a perpendicular bisector to the line AB. So here you have drawn AB which is measuring 7.3. Then what you need to draw? You need to draw the perpendicular bisector of it. So you open the composites of any suitable length, right, which is greater than half of AB. So here you have drawn this first arc, then you mark another arc here and then keeping the same compass opening and putting the point at B, you make another two arcs making sure that they are intersecting the previously drawn arcs.
so making this as point c and marking this as point d right so when you join point c and d you will observe that let's say they are intersecting ab at point o so if you measure you will see that ao is equal to bo and also angle cob is equal to 90 degrees so it is enough that you can write just for one angle definitely all the other angles will follow so if one aob you have written as 90 it means that definitely coa and aod and dob they are all 90 90 90 each okay now moving ahead to the next question it says draw a line segment of length 9.5 cm and construct a perpendicular bisector simple so quickly draw a line segment using the ruler sharp pencil and make it pq of 9.5 cm okay so if you are done with this point what is the next one you need to open the compass of something which is greater than exactly uh, more than half of your length pq okay so make sure that you open the compasses anywhere half more than half of pq okay now keeping the point at p mark an arc over here above the line pq and mark another arc here below the line pq using the same opening don't disturb the opening of your compass with the same opening keeping the pointer at q mark an arc over here that is cutting the previously drawn arc and another arc over here okay so now what you observe let's say this is point x and y you can just name anything that you want and joining these two points you will observe that we have got a perpendicular bisector of the line pq so when you are done with this you will observe something like this here it shouldn't be a it should be p and q and let's say these are the c and d points where they are meeting each other okay so here let's write po is equal to q o also angle coq is equal to 90 degrees right moving ahead to the third question it says draw the perpendicular bisector of xy whose length is 10.3 so first of all you draw this kind of a line xy name the end points xy and this particular length is of 10.3 cm okay so the first step is draw a line here you will get it from this particular question itself draw a line xy of measure 10.3 cm okay so if you are trying with me make sure you draw a straight line xy of 10.3 in length and your first step is draw a line segment xy of length 10.3 cm i hope you have written and drawn the line as well now the first question it says that let me just mark this as a take any point p on the bisector drawn so on this point first of all we need to draw a perpendicular bisector and then when we are done with the perpendicular bisector we need to take a point p on it so let's just keep this part till here let's just first draw a perpendicular bisector then we'll come to this points what we need to do okay now first of all in order to draw the uh, perpendicular bisector you know all your steps you have drawn this line which is measuring 10.3 now open the compass of anywhere measure that is greater than half of xy keeping the pointer at x you mark an arc here keeping the pointer at x same point another arc now without disturbing the opening of your compass keep the point at y make an arc here make an arc here make sure they are intersecting the previously drawn arcs and then you will need to join this particular points of intersection of the two arcs right so they are meeting each other we got a particular straight line and this straight line is meeting to xy say they are meeting at point o for now i am just naming this now it says that take a point p on the bisector okay so this is important 
take a point P on the bisector that we have drawn. So let me just take a point P over here. Okay. So this is the point P that I have taken on the perpendicular bisector. Now they are asking us to examine whether Px is equal to Py. How we can do this? We need to join P and X together. Okay. Use the ruler and draw this line P, X. Similarly, use the ruler and join this particular line P, Y. Okay. So, when you are done with this, you will observe an image something like this. Okay. So, first of all, you drew line X, Y. Then, you took the compass and you drew the two arcs and keeping the center at x and then y respectively and when they are meeting at certain points we let's say we name it as c and d and we draw a straight line that is the perpendicular bisector to the given line x okay now they were asking us to make a point p on this particular perpendicular bisector and we need to examine whether px is equal to py so using the ruler you will say after measuring that yes Px is equal to Py and what I will tell you here is no matter where you are placing this point P, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here, anywhere on this particular line if you take this point P and you join it with X and Y respectively, every time you will notice that Px will be equal to Py. Okay, so this is very important observation. No matter where you are considering the point P on this particular line, that is the perpendicular bisector, every time it will be at the same distance from X and Y. Okay, now let's see what is the point B. It says if M is the midpoint of XY. So here what I have marked as O, they are asking us to name it as M. Okay, so instead of O, it is M. So, if M is the midpoint of XY, what can you say about the lengths of MX and MX and XY, right? MX is this particular length, right? And what is XY? It's the complete length, okay? So, what can we say about this? Here, if this is point M and we need to talk about XM here, mx or xm both ways you can say and xy clearly we can see that mx is half of xy okay so we can write it that xy is equal to twice of mx because it is half or what can we write that mx is equal to half of xy okay so this is the relation between mx and xy or you can also say that my now i'm considering this particular part okay it is also half of xy okay so both ways we can say that mx or my because they are equal they are half of xy i hope this is clear moving on to the next question it says draw a line segment of length 12.8 cm using compasses divided into four equal parts verified by actual measurement. Okay, so first of all, if you are drawing with me, make sure that you take out the ruler. Make sure you are measuring uh, accurately 12.8 cm. Okay, step one draw a line segment. You get the first line from the question itself. Draw a line segment of length 12.8 centimeters. Let's name it as x, y. Okay. Now what you do? You need to divide this into four equal parts. So in order to draw it, like divide it into four equal parts, let us first divide it into two equal parts that we have learned. So using the compass, keeping the opening of the compass greater than half of x, y, we'll mark an arc over here. We mark an arc over here. Without disturbing the opening of this compass, we keep the point at Y. We mark an arc over here. We mark an arc over here. And then we join it. So what we observe is a perpendicular bisector. That means this particular line is bisecting, dividing XY into two equal parts. Okay. 
So far we have divided into two equal parts. Right? So if you are done, you will observe something like this. This is a clean image of what you will observe. Right? Now what we need to do? Now we need to divide this line. We were asked to divide it into four equal parts. So this particular line, let's divide this into two equal parts and this into two equal parts as well. Then we will see that the whole line has been divided into four equal parts. Okay? So it's like if you get a chocolate. Okay? So first you divide into half. Then because you have got another friend, like four people were there and four students wants to distribute a whole chocolate bar amongst themselves. Okay? So how they can do it? First of all, they can divide the whole chocolate into two equal parts. Then you have got two parts of each, right? So now the part that you have, this half part, you again divide it into two. And this half part you again divide it into two. So here dividing this and dividing this, you will observe that this particular chocolate bar has been divided into one, two, three and four equal parts. The same thing we are doing with this line. Okay. So here we have got A D is equal to D C is equal to C E is equal to E B. Or we can say A D is equal to one fourth of A B. Okay, the line, this particular part, it is one fourth of A B, right? Similarly, you can say DC is one fourth of AB, CE is one fourth of AB, EB is one fourth of AB, or you can say, or we can write AB is equal to four times of AD. Okay? This is how you can represent or write your answers in different ways. Moving on to the next question. Here it says with PQ of length 6.1 cm as diameter draw a circle. So first of all, the first step is that you draw a line and name it as PQ. Okay. So when you are done with this step, what we need to do? We need to draw a circle here and we need to make sure that when we are drawing a circle, PQ should be the diameter of that particular circle. That means we are going to draw a circle exactly from the midpoint of PQ. If you will observe that if you are drawing a circle exactly from the midpoint of PQ, it will join P and Q at the boundary of it. Okay? So this is how your uh, final circle will look like. So keeping the pointer exactly at the midpoint. Now one method that you can use in order to draw this, purple, this particular circle is you use the ruler simple now you use a ruler. So what do you do? You use the ruler and measure exactly half point, like exactly measure where is the half of line PQ. Okay. So when you are done with this, you mark this point, say O, and keeping the point at O, you draw a circle. Okay. This is the circle that you need. But now because we are using the construction method, so compasses is what giving us the most accurate measure of the line segment which will fall as the perpendicular bisector. Let's use this. So instead of using the ruler, 
we will use the compasses here to draw the perpendicular bisector. So opening your uh, right, so opening the compass anywhere greater than half of PQ. So it can be any random measurement. Just make sure it's more than half of PQ. You draw an arc here. You draw an arc here. Repeat it by keeping the point at Q. Draw an arc here. Draw an arc here. And then you join these two points of intersections of the arcs. So wherever these points are meeting each other, this is the center point. And keeping the compass at this particular center point, then you will draw a complete circle, right, like this. You will observe that here we have got PQ, which was 6.1, right. So 6.1 is now the diameter of this particular circle, okay. So this is how you draw this circle. Moving ahead to the next question. It says draw a circle with center C and radius 3.4. So this is the first step you need to do. Let's keep on drawing this here. I'll just draw a rough part here. So it says draw a circle center first of all. The first step is mark a point C on a plain paper. Right? Step 2. Measuring, opening the compass of measure 3.4 radius. Keeping the point at C, draw a circle. Okay, so we have drawn a circle. This particular length is 3.4 centimeters because this is the radius of the circle. Draw any chord AB. Now they are asking us to draw any chord. So let's say I am drawing a line here. This is the line AB. And if I am drawing the perpendicular bisector to AB, that is again you open half the compass more than half of AB. You draw a arc here, draw an arc here. Keeping the point at B, draw an arc here, draw an arc here and join it. So, when you are done with this, I will just show you a clean image how you will see. This is the kind of uh, image that you will draw. So, what you notice is that every time you are drawing a chord on the circle and when you are joining this particular perpendicular bisector of this chord, it will always, it will always intersect the point C. Okay, very important observation. There they were asking us to draw any chord AB and then we had to construct the perpendicular bisector of AB and then we need to examine if it passes through C. So the answer is yes. It will always pass through the center C. Okay, so very important thing. Now I want you to be careful. No matter where you are drawing A. It shouldn't be that exactly it needs to be standing like this horizontally above C. No. Now, let's move on to the next question. It says that we need to repeat the question that we just did in question 6. And here, if AB happens to be a diameter. So, what will happen? Simple. C is the point where we are starting from. Keeping 3.4 as the radius, we draw a circle. Right? Now, taking... They are asking us if AB, if it happens to be a diameter. So let's say, I'll just complete this line here. Say this is A and this is B. Okay. Now if I'm drawing a perpendicular bisector to this AB and if I'm joining it, definitely it will pass from the center C. Is that right? So any chord, because AB, it happens to be a diameter. I hope you remember diameter is the biggest chord in a particular circle. Right? So clearly what we see that AB, yes, its perpendicular bisector is passing from this particular point C. This is the kind of a clean image that you will observe when you are uh, constructing this perpendicular bisector. Is that clear? Now, moving on to the next question. Question number 8. Draw a circle of radius 4 cm. Okay? So first of all, what you need to do? Let's mark any point, say O. I am keeping 4 cm as the radius. Measuring this from the ruler using the compasses, we draw a circle. Right? Draw any two chords. Okay, so any two chords you need to draw. You can draw a chord over here. You can draw a chord over here. Anywhere. Okay? Now construct perpendicular bisectors to these chords. Where do they meet? Right, so this is the question. So you draw perpendicular bisector 
to both of these lines okay and mine is not a neat one so when you are done with this you will observe that these two um, perpendicular lines for these chords they will intersect at the point set the point o so what we have observed working out question number 6 7 and now 8 one that the perpendicular bisectors of the chords drawn in a circle will always intersect each other at point o that is the point of center of the circle clear all the perpendicular bisectors of the chords in a circle intersect or we can say meet at the center point of the circle this is the observation and this is the kind of a figure that you will observe if you are drawing it yourself so here ab and cd are the two chords and pq and here sr we have drawn as the perpendicular bisectors and clearly we can see that pq and sr they are meeting each other at this point o is that right that is the center point of the circle this is a very important observation that we have just made moving to the next question it says this is the last question from this particular lesson draw any angle with the vertex o so first of all you draw any angle here and name it as o any angle you can draw take a point a on uh, on one of its arm so here let's say this is point a and b on another so another arm such that a is equal to ob so you measure with a ruler where how much you have taken for ao same measure you need to make for ob okay so first of all you drew any angle any measure keeping this vertex plane as o then you make any point a on this particular ray on one of the ray so let's say we have marked it here make sure that you mark what is the length of ao so you measure it with the help of ruler and with the same measurement you mark a point b on the second arm okay so this is what you have done so far now draw the perpendicular bisectors of a and ob okay let them meet at point p and what you will observe when you do a clean such construction this is the kind of image that you will observe okay so first of all angle any angle we had we had this vertex o we marked the point a we measured what is ao we made the same size here that is point b we marked and then we drew perpendicular bisectors to these two points these two points for perpendicular bisector we see they are meeting at this particular point here right so this particular point is the point of intersection of these perpendicular bisectors so it says that let them meet at point p so let's say these are meeting at point p here okay say so this is the point of intersection p now they are asking what is the uh, relation between p and p b whether it's equal or not so if you join p and p b you will observe yes it is equal so here if this is the point of intersection p and you join p a and p b you will observe that measuring it with the ruler you will observe that p a is equal to p b this is the observation that you will get okay and with this we are done with this lesson so we have learned how to draw the perpendicular bisectors of a line segment first of all we use the transparent tapes then we use the ruler and the compasses to do this i hope you remember how we do the perpendicular bisectors you can also call uh, you can also have a question where they are calling it as the line of symmetry for a given line segment right so and also i hope you remember how we drew 
the um, divided a particular line into four equal parts. You can also draw a line where you can draw it into eight equal parts. You can draw a line and divide it into eight equal parts. So you can try doing all these such activities. Then I hope you remember how we have observed in a circle that how chords their perpendicular bisectors meet at the center point that is the center point of the circle itself right with this we are done with our lesson of construction of perpendicular bisectors in the next lesson we learn something more about angles in the construction part